The New Mutants versus The Breakfast Club. One is amazing and one is not so amazing. Both are about an hour and a half with five angsty teens locked in a building and they have to learn to get along before getting out. And usually I would leave it a mystery on which one is gonna win, but we all know which one will win, but I still wanted to compare them to showcase my issues with The New Mutants. I'm gonna use three criteria that I think really separate these two films. One, the storytelling and the focus of the script. Two, the dialogue between all of our characters. And three, the characters themselves. And if you haven't seen these movies, don't worry because I won't spoil anything I promise. And if you like the video please leave a thumbs up and a comment it helps so much and if you want to see more of these please make sure to subscribe as well. Let's get started. Alright, round one, storytelling. New Mutant storytelling is really unfocused and this lack of focus begins with the fact that the film is struggling to balance three different genres. And don't get me wrong, I think genre blending is the future of filmmaking with R-rated superhero comedies like Deadpool and psychological thriller comedies like Get Out. These kinds of films are actually bringing something new to the table where they don't remind us of the last 50 films we've seen before just like it. But New Mutant seems to fail with its action, its horror, and its teen drama. The action in this film is almost non-existent until the final final 20 minutes and the sequences are extremely generic, they're flooded with mediocre CGI. The horror elements were very reminiscent of IT chapter 1 and 2 where fears are manifested into reality which was a cool idea. But can we just clarify that CGI is not scary. The main horror creature in concept was very scary but it would have been so much more frightening if it were presented with practical makeup and costume. It just reminded me of the crooked man from The Conjuring 2 which didn't look threatening at all. And so much time is given to bad horror and unsatisfying superhero hype that the story for New Mutants doesn't really make much progress. Breakfast Club, on the other hand, is one of the most focused and self-aware movies I have ever seen. The film is aware that these characters are high school stereotypes, but throughout the film, we learn more and more about who these individuals truly are. And I think that that's the only mission this film is trying to accomplish. And it's the direction, the dialogue, and the layered characters that allow John Hughes to excel so far with such a simple concept. I think the best example is comparing the dance scene in both movies. The dance scene in The Breakfast Club is a final celebration of the five students' liberation and psychological independence. They've broken free from the box that they felt they were trapped in in the beginning of the film. The New Mutants pays tribute to this scene with their own dance scene that looks very familiar, but the dance scene doesn't really mean anything. They're just dancing because their doctor is sleeping. And I think that's the perfect display of how meaningless the New Mutants was to its influences. So yeah, The Breakfast Club wins round one. Okay, round two, the dialogue. The dialogue in New Mutants was super rigid and predictable. I had the same problem with Banana Split, but it was even worse in this movie because it's like every line that was said by each character fell perfectly into the stereotype that they were. And none of them ever broke free from their stereotype. The characters didn't evolve very much, some of them not at all, so you could start to tell what they were going to say before they even said it. And it wasn't even clever in any way, like the comedy in this film was awful, especially since the jokes came from this guy who had continuous cringy one-liners, especially when he was talking about Anya Taylor-Joy's character. The dialogue in Breakfast Club has so much more rhythm and purpose. One moment we got snappy heated remarks marks back and forth between clashing personalities. The next moment it gets really personal between relating characters and we learn about who they truly are. It's angry, it's insecure, it's defensive, it's protective, it's so natural for high school teens. Breakfast Club also handles its comedy so much more naturally, which makes it come off actually funny. The comedy blossoms out of the tone of characters or simply from body language. It's never just a one-liner to insert a joke for inserting a joke's sake. The comedy has purpose and often highlights the goofiness of the students' insecurities. So yeah, round two goes to the Breakfast Club. All right, the final round characters. Okay, this part really broke my heart because these characters had so much potential to be interesting, but they were so not interesting. I love how most of the characters have a dark backstory. That's super intriguing to me, but the backstories are never explored. We get nightmare flashbacks and mental manifestations of these nightmares, but that's it. Like, we never learn more about simply seeing scary visuals. I wish the film would dive further into these characters' past and really explore how it made them feel and reflect that in the way that they act now, but it doesn't. We no insight at all on these characters' lives before they were put here besides one bad thing that happened to them. The writers could have taken way better advantage of the fact that this film was PG-13, but the film decides only to use the PG-13 rating for some blood, some B-words, and some S-words. It's just PG-13 to be a little bit realistic. In The Breakfast Club, every character comes out a completely different person than they were when they entered. The New Mutants characters don't really improve at all as people by the end, except for Danielle, in a very underwhelming way. And one cool thing 
about the way The Breakfast Club is written is that the film doesn't give you these characters full backstories until the end of the film. Throughout the film, each character is leaving their own little trail into their backstory by showing us what upsets them the most, what's the funniest to them, and what they are intrigued by. The film also takes full advantage of its R rating not by dropping countless F-bombs, but by fearlessly venturing into the unfortunate stories and attitudes of some of these characters. Even Mr. V has his own insecurities that get really nicely explored. The Breakfast Club is a joy to watch and tells us everything about the pressures that high schoolers feel from all angles of life. The New Mutants fail to explore anything and even then the film is not really entertaining so the whole competition goes to The Breakfast Club. Okay, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to discuss. And if you want to see more of these movie versus movie videos, click the playlist in the top right. Subscribe if you want more videos like this and thank you. See you guys.